my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Years and years of practice. We love that. We love the idea that it takes an immense amount of time to learn this instrument because it makes it so significant once we can do it. So once we're at the top of our game on this instrument, we, we entertain and we strengthen that stupid idea that it's, it's a journey like, you know, the karate masters of the ancient whatever, right? It's, it's a struggle uphill till you reach the peak. I got a comment here, and sorry, I'm using this because it's trying to put people down. So I have an attitude towards this that I reserve the right to have. It's just a comment, and I don't know if the commenter is, is looking at this uh, video here, so I, I don't think he is. But it says, these are just basic pentatonics. It's a bit, I don't remember what video it is, doesn't matter, but it's about pentatonic scales. To be proficient with the pentatonic scale, you should be able to randomly shift hand positions from anywhere along the neck and from any string, right? Going from position to position, you know, no matter where you are on the neck within the five K shapes, hope you're with me here. Um, there is no shortcut, first of all. It's just years and years of practicing. This is such a good example of what it is, sorry, of what it is that we're doing to ourselves. Years and years of practicing. And this is not just this specific comment, this is something that we do a lot, right? We say stuff, like idiotic stuff like that. Really? Really? Let's look at it. Let's look at how many shapes do we divide the pentatonic shape up into. Because if you take the, let's say the, the E minor pentatonic scale, then Instead of just trying to learn the whole fretboard at once, that shape, that one fretboard shape that covers the whole, we chop it up into five pieces. Because that's a neat little very vertical uh, piece. And then we can learn these pieces one by one. And then after we've learned each of the five K shapes that kind of fit together like pieces of a puzzle, we can learn to go back and forth in between them. After years and years of practicing, just listen to that. It's so stupid and we have to stop that idiotic story of making it more significant to learn that it really is. Imagine the pentatonic scale was a map of a city. How much information is in there? We got five different shapes covering the entire fretboard and it repeats itself from the 12th fret. So basically, this is the area. Look at it. Put it down on a piece of paper and then look at how much information is in there compared to just the map of a city. Any taxi driver can learn the map of a city relatively quickly, at least they could before they had GPS as you know, navigational systems, right? And just any, you know, if you look at this, then this, there is not more information to learn in here than just the neighborhood just a small neighborhood that you live in and that you know your way around like you could close your eyes and know exactly what streets to walk, you know, in order to get anywhere, right? Somebody asks you, where's the bakery? And you can say, oh, you go down the road and then left and then back again. This is nothing. And just to, you know, just to say that it's just years and years of practice. What the f are you talking about? It's easy. And if you, if you install the belief and the idea that this is years and years of practice of being able to go back and forth like this, then I, I can assure you it will take years because you don't want to turn your own brain into a total liar. And so you're going to manifest that struggle. I promise you, this is the most amazing thing. You will get whatever you expect in this game. I promise you. Because you, oh, it's hard. Why is it hard? It's nothing. It's like a little map of a local area you live in. Or your flat, your apartment. Just imagine, if you close your eyes, where you live, your house, whatever, you can walk around the whole house, know exactly what's in each cupboard, go to the bathroom and know where your toothbrush is, where the soap is, where everything is. That's a ton more information than you have on this freaking fretboard for one pentatonic scale. It's so easy, it's a joke. And if you start learning it, with that idea, with that belief in your mind, you'll do it in a tenth of the time, right? But if you think it takes years and years of practicing, pfft, it will. And, but just, you know, a, a final point here. 
uh, that I have in my other videos as well. Why do you know your house so well? Why do you know your apartment so well and where everything is in the cupboards, the glasses, the, the t everything? Why? Because you live there, right? You need to live in the pentatonic scale for long enough for it to be absolutely second nature, which means that anything you play and practice is in the pentatonic scale. Every time you solo, you use the pentatonic scale. Every t and you bit, take it up in bits and pieces, spend some time in the living room for a week, right? And these two shapes go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between them until it's second nature. Take the next back and forth, back and forth. And I promise you, you'll have it down in a couple of months and not years and years of practice. It doesn't happen like that. And if you believe it does, you'll never learn it. Some people never learn to navigate horizontally in the pentatonic scale because they think it takes 10 years. So they never really get into it. And so instead, whenever you don't make progress, instead of saying, oh, that's because it takes years and years of practicing, right? And then you just, oh, keep on noodling along and nothing happens. But if you, if you have the idea that, well, I should have learned it already, it's easy. Then you go, what am I doing wrong? And then you start actually getting some new ideas of, okay, I'm living in an apartment. How, why do I know that so well? Because I spent like, you know, every single day I go into the kitchen and I, you know, in the beginning, I couldn't find anything. Couldn't find the cups, couldn't find the plates, couldn't find anything. And then, you know, b because I, oh, let's stay in the kitchen. Let's just move back and forth between these two every single day, back and forth until it's second nature. Let's move on to the next, back and forth. Then go back to the first, up to the next back and forth like that. And then you start actually engaging and releasing resources, creative and energy wise in your brain, in your body that will allow you to learn this stuff in eight weeks, right? I hope this makes sense. It really is a trap to fall into to make it so significant to be able to move back and forth that you never learn it because you think it's hard. Just cut that, right? <laughs> hope this makes sense. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.